Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 26 of the March League Coach uh, Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Uh, no intro today because um, I actually had jury duty. Um, I don't know if that's something familiar to people, but based in the US, you have to go to jury and I don't know. For, for me, for now, just sit around and do nothing for a day. But And then I had to go to the gym after that and I don't know, my day is all thrown up. I will get that video out soon, and I'm trying to get um get that second channel going. Maybe I'm going to do it for next week. So maybe I, I kind of uh, uh, will put it. So I don't know. It'll be coming soon. Uh, it won't affect my daily uh, videos. I'll still have these, so it'll, it'll be good. Um, but but yeah, uh, basically, I'm, I'm going to go over some stuff that is. I don't. Know, I mean, this po this channel is very programming, right? Programming e. Um, so I want to. Just talk about stuff that is like maybe one level above that just sometimes some about like the, the tech stuff as people need or whatever so yeah um and let's take a look today's farm is 41 first missing positive given an unsought integer of a nums oh do we have a okay so we don't have a premium farm uh i'm not gonna do an extra farm today because it is a hard one even though i don't know if i've done it yet but let's take a look Given an unsorted integer of weight nums, return the smallest positive integer that is not present in nums. You must implement an algorithm that runs in all of n time and uses one auxiliary space. Again, this is kind of like a little, I mean, it's a little bit awkward because I, uh, I mean, I talked about this yesterday as well, is that um, there is some stuff about like eh, using the input data because, I don't know, it's definitely a little bit awkward, right? But, but, uh, <clears throat> it's a little bit awkward in the sense that like i don't know uh the same thing like if you, if you design an api and i pass in my my array my data into an api and then suddenly my all my memory is like all over the place and corrupt and all the data has changed that is probably not a side effect that i would expect so i don't know so it's, it's a little bit weird to kind of have these kind of problems um, that said, I would give a little bit of background is that these kind of problems used to be um, more common during interviews. Like, and this is even, I don't, hmm, this is like a long time ago. Like I think when, when I was interviewing in, um, in finance, uh, they, they really like um, programming problems that are a little bit more on the brain teaser side, right? And this is one of those kind of brain teaser -y things because once you know it it's really not that interesting but be, if you don't know it it may also be impossible to solve right um so it's kind of very weird in general um but of course this was many years ago and eh, i would say google was there then but i don't think google was very um i mean it was good for what it needed to do but i think there was just not that much content for google to find back then um so like you know you might just never figure this one out right um though some though you know like all the competitive people might just like share these things just for fun uh with each other but it's really not not uh uh, uh uh you know uh but i don't think i don't know let me know in the comments if you feel like you've seen these kind of problems still because so i feel like these kind of problems have gone a little bit i don't know i think like during um from what I hear is just more basics. And this is kind of like a little bit of awkward thing. But like I said, it's it's kind of trivia in a sense that once you know it, it's kind of, you know, straightforward. Uh, and the thing that we're going to do is just basically do the same thing that we did yesterday, right? And it's basically sort by, um, a sort of a sort by putting things um, into the bucket that they're supposed to be. And then once you've done that, um, then you, you can just go through the way, right? Because, you know, one is supposed to be in the first element, two is supposed to be the second element. And because of that, I am going to, you know, because I've been kind of advocating reusing code, so why not just, like, you know, do we, what we said, right? So we can just reuse this part of the code from yesterday. So this is yesterday's video, from yesterday's video, and problem, um, yeah, I guess maybe we can, have, you know, maybe we should make it into a function, but nonetheless, uh, it is still, you know, and then here, you know, uh, I, what I like to do in, in general in, in practice, and you see me do this during the contest, if you watch my contest videos, um, so it's not just me like advocating it, is that um, I like to debug things or like, not that I like to, but 
there is some like function of uncertainty and confidence and stuff like that, right? And what I mean by that is that um, the more uncertain I am, I just want to just put it out so that if I need to fix, I know that the error is here and I can kind of like, you know. And here, we will just compare it to my expectations of what it should be, right? Um, hmm. I think there is a, a precondition from yesterday that may not be here, which is that uh, I, I did actually... Uh, I did actually was thinking about this, uh, but then I was like, oh, wait, I could do yesterday's, but I forgot to put in this case, which is that obviously these numbers will go out of bounds. Um, well, these numbers would go out of bounds, but this one has negative one, and negative one in Python is way weird. Uh, or eh, I don't know. I mean, negative one is actually used for a lot, but, but it's also like, I almost wish there's a way that, I don't know. Like, I, I think for me, as someone who wants to be precise, negative numbers giving me an error is actually more useful than counting from the back. But anyway, so we have to make sure that, um, so if this is the case, we break or um, x is not, or x is like, you know, less than zero, or x is greater than n, right? That's basically the only thing that I wanted to do, right? Um, oh, I guess I, I need to do this first. I, I am sloppy. Well, I'm just not, just not thinking enough, to be honest. But yeah, uh, all right. Right, and then now we can see that here, uh, and this is what, you know, because if something, maybe you're, you know, for this particular one, I'm, I actually have confidence about it. I just want to check real quick. But for example, let's say you're doing a greedy problem. Instead of solving everything and then checking it, you want to like incrementally, like, okay, like there's a part A, you know, you break it down in your head, there's a part A, maybe solve part A, see if the the output or whatever is what you expect it to be. Um, then you, you know, solve it. And here, you know, it is so, so we can just do a quick loop, right? If uh, if num sub i is not equal to i plus one, <clears throat> then we return i plus one, right? Otherwise, otherwise, I guess we just return n plus one, right? Um, yeah. Let me also double check that one. Like if we have one, two, three, four, five, right? Yeah. All right, let's give it a quick summit. And then there we go. Why is this, why, why was this so much faster? I mean, I, did they add more test cases? It's been four years, but did I have something faster? I did add more comments though, so I guess that's clean. But, uh, and yeah, okay. Same idea though. Uh, and eh, I, my apologies if I didn't really explain this part of it. Because um, I think I went over it yesterday and I just kind of talked about the code reuse. But let me talk, explain that a little bit quickly now, right? So basically the idea here, same as yesterday, is that we're sorting them into the slots, right? Um, and the idea here is that we, the number one, we want it in the first array or the first element. Uh, two is the second element, three is the third element, so forth. So then now that means that let's say, you know, we have... I don't know, five, four, three, two, one, say. Right here, we, we start with five, then we go, okay, well, we have a number five, where do we want the five to be? Well, the five wants to be in the last, in the fifth element, so then we swap it, right? And then we kind of keep on swapping until, um, you know, we can't swap anymore in this ele in this position. And then we go on to, you know, to do, 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 do. And then basically once you do that kind of, um, I think I call it psycho sorting. Or I, I generally call it like permutation psycho or psycho sorting maybe. Uh, so it goes by like a couple of names. Uh, but yeah, but once you do that, then, you know, uh, I kind of printed it out earlier and I'll print it again just for visualization. Once you do that, you can easily see that the, the ones that are not positioned um, that means that that number doesn't exist. So then that, you know, you could go from one to N. And of course, in the end, you return N plus one because of the pigeonhole, right? That means that, well, the next number is just going to be N plus one because that means that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, dot, dot, dot. I don't know why I go so far. All the way to N um, are all used. So yeah, um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. This is going to be linear time over one as zero space. But like I said, it's kind of a dubious practice, a dubious thing to learn. And also, like, if I was your tech lead and you wrote this code, 
and you wrote this code manipulating this in place, it would be a re- it would be an instant uh, rejection of your PR or your code review or CR. Yeah, it will be an auto reject. Be like, hey, please do not, you know, use side effects, right? I mean, of course, the, you, you know, you can make some argument, maybe not actually for this one, but you can make an argument about like optimization. But if this is your first code submission, you don't need to optimize, all right? Or you have to show some example of why you need to optimize. Just write it cleaner. <laughs> is what I would say, and, and be a little bit sad about it as you lead. But uh, well, no, I wouldn't be that sad. I mean, be, the first time I wouldn't be sad. The second time I'll be like, hey, we talked about this last week. Uh, I'm I'm starting to get a little sad. But anyway, all right, we don't have to talk about Larry as a weird tech lead. But that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drop me on Discord. Let me know what you think. And if you like the intro, let me know. Maybe I'll just you know walk around New York and tape intros. Uh, yeah, stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.